Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric and today we're going to talk about PTO clutches and these are electric PTO clutches and I'm going to kind of go into a little deeper dive so that a lot of guys ask me how do I know if it works or not. So stay tuned. So welcome back. My name is Eric and this is a, what we call the educational repair videos on how to do, right? And today we're talking PTO clutches. Now, PTO clutches come in all different flavors, but they're basically electromagnetic and it's a magnet. It engages and disengages. So when your magnet is not engaged, this spins freely and you have the crank going down through here right you got a keyway so this is spinning freely the mower's not on but the minute we apply power which is just simply a ground and hot well, hold on let me get my jump pack sometimes this is the easiest way to show just give me a minute here, guys. Oh, let's see here. All right, so let me just take this. Cut it there, cut it there, see all I'm doing is just getting a piece of bare wire, both ends, okay, nothing fancy, there's one, So you guys know what I'm doing? Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to provide, make a jumper wire. So we're gonna put this one on here. That's gonna be our positive. This is gonna be our negative, okay? So better yet, let's just take this and we'll put one wire into here. one wire into here and making sure that they aren't touching each other but now if I take and I ground the one side I should hear a click when the other side gets engaged That tells me it works, it's correct. It's functioning the way it should. But you can do that with it right on the mower. So if your PTO quits working, your mower quits working, right? And you're trying to find the culprit, you know, it could be the PTO switch, could be the key switch, could be any one of the safety switches that are not functioning properly, or it's saying that maybe like on some mowers, you cannot back up and mow. The PTO clutch will disengage. Some of the John Deere's have got the little yellow button that you push, where the other ones don't. My zero turn doesn't matter which direction I'm going, it's running the whole time. The other thing that can cause you problems with this is low voltage. And that means you need to make sure that your battery is good charged and that you're putting out enough coming back from the 
stator through the system to charge that battery and keep everything running and functioning the way it should. Now, these, I have seen these melt when they go, you know, and I've seen them where they just quit working. But one of the other things that I want you to do is if, is if this quits working, simply test it like this. All right, put positive one side, negative the other side. If it clicks, you should be okay, all right? And when it clicks, it will lock this up. And when it locks this pulley up, what happens? Well, this pulley is going back to your blades. So that engages your blades. So when the magnet comes together, it tightens so that you can mow. And then when you disengage it, you take the magnet away, it comes away, it spins freely on that bearing. I've also seen these bearings go bad. You know, these are replaceable bearings. So hopefully you've learned something new. And if you find that this is working, I know it's a pain in the ass. Start henpecking your way back through. And probably the most common I see when it comes to this Ultra PTO clutch not functioning. If I do the test and the test tells me it's fine, a lot of times the wire, the two wire system that comes here to the whip is either rubbed on the frame and grounded out. And if it grounds out, it'll ground this out as well. Or one of the wires may have broken so that it's not getting the positive and the negative charge to engage it. So if you ever run into that, you know, you, there's a number of things that you can do and you can check in the system, okay? And some of the culprits I've seen over time, other than grounding itself, is the PTO switch. They have been known to go bad. Just you click up, click down, or some of them are just on a little toggle switch. The other thing I've seen is if you have a malfunctioning switch in the system, a safety switch, they could be telling the clutch that you're not on the seat anymore. And if you're not on the seat, it's going to take and kill this as well. Everything has to work the way it's supposed to. I don't want you to bypass things and make it unsafe. And as we've talked about, when it comes to our shop here, we can be held liable for somebody getting hurt if we do something to that machine that makes it unsafe. And disabling safety switches is a no-no. If you've got a shop, you know, I tell my customers, what you do to home is up to you. But if you bring it to me, I have to enable all those switches if you disable them before it leaves here. That way I know that our shop is covered. And that's one way, if you're running a shop, to cover thy ass. On that note, you guys have a great day. And again, thanks so much for watching our videos. And if you are learning something, you know, thumbs up subscribe if it's not your bag that's okay too we welcome you to the channel and stick around for further videos to come on that note we'll catch you later